As for the interior forces, the strongest ones are on the periphery, where the linear velocity is the highest. We can take away the center of it, as it is out of use for us, and we'll put the small balls into a ring tube, at least they should fly apart. In the tube, flows will revolve under the effect of the electromagnetic force. We'll create a vacuum in the tube in order to avoid air resistance. We will keep the small balls with the help of magnetic suspension. We'll construct the tube in a way making it possible to expand. We'll make it out of a telescopic compound. Under the effect of the centrifugal forces, the tube will become longer, wider, and finally it'll take off. Is this a better solution than Elon Musk's Mars plan? Engineer Anatoly Unitsky had been working on this concept for more than 40 years now. So what is it? The project is called Spaceway. The premise of this technology is to put all the industry off of the Earth to the space. And it has three main components. First, the General Planetary Vehicle, GPV, is a geocosmic multi-use vehicle for non-rocket industrial exploration of near space. It is made in the form of Taurus covering Earth in the equatorial plane and providing industrial cargo and passengers return transportations from Earth to the equatorial orbits. It is developed based on only possible environmentally friendly geocosmic transport technology providing minimal energy intensity that uses only system inner forces and electric energy. Per one flight this vehicle will be able to put into orbit about 10 million tons of cargo, 250 kilograms per one meter of the whole length, and 10 million passengers, 250 people per one kilometer of the whole length that will be involved in the creation and operation of the near-Earth space industry. It will be able to go into space up to 100 times per year. It will take about a million years for the modern global rocket and space industry, in which trillions of dollars have already been invested, to achieve what the GPV can do during one year. At the same time, the cost of delivering each ton of payload to the orbit is currently several million U.S. dollars per ton, which is several thousand times higher than in the GPV operation. Second, GPV Launch Overpass the launch overpass of the General Planetary Vehicle is a takeoff and landing, power, and communication hub for geocosmic transportation located along the equator and combined with new generation eco-settlement. The height of the launch overpass structure depends on the terrain it passes through. The equator of our planet crosses plains, mountains, and oceans, and each deviation from the horizontal level should be considered individually. The main obstacles in the construction of the equatorial launching platform on land are the mountains, such as the East African Plateau, Mount Kilimanjaro, in Africa and the Andes, Mount Chimborazo, in South America. The overpass surface is used for the following GPV operations, electric recharging, cargo loading, takeoff, landing, unloading, transfer of products, space raw materials, and solar energy accumulated in space, maintenance and repair. The following unit elements are also placed in the overpass area. Hypervelocity track in the four vacuum channel. Speed is up to 1,500 km per hour. High speed track. Speed is up to 600 km per hour. City highway. Speed is up to 150 km per hour. Power lines. Communication lines. It is optimal to place the launch overpass along the equator. Such location has a great advantage as the Earth's equatorial plane will coincide with the plane of the GPV's rotation. That will allow to fully use the planet's rotation energy and thereby reduce the amount of electrical energy consumed for acceleration and launching the GPV into orbit. An equatorial launch overpass will be built on the following territories. In Africa, Gabon, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Republic of the Congo, Zaire, Uganda, Kenya, Somalia, Sao Tome and Principe, in South America, Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil, in Asia, Indonesia. Third, Industrial Space Necklace. The first launch of the GPV into space will allow starting the creation of the Industrial Space Necklace Orbit, ISN Orbit. The ISN Orbit is a multi-orbital transport, infrastructure, and industrial residential complex serving Earth's humanity and covering the planet in the equator plane. It is a functional analog of the equatorial linear city which is located in space, as well as a range intended to protect from space threats, including meteorites, and a platform for the Earth's civilization expansion into deep space. 
The ISN orbit will look like a necklace where there will be coupled cargo and passenger gondolas placed at a span of about 500 meters and connected to each other in the form of a ring with string communications. There will be factories, workshops, power plants, and other industrial structures eventually created around the gondolas. Residential space settlements, eco-cosmo houses, where service personnel of space industry will live and work, will be also located there. Compared to the industry location on the planet's surface, outer space, and near-Earth orbits have a number of advantages. Zero gravity allows producing unique materials, mechanisms, and equipment, as well as melting foam steel, which is stronger than ordinary steel, while it does not sink in water and is not subject to corrosion. It is more difficult to obtain deep vacuum on Earth than to extract oil. One cubic meter of deep vacuum is more expensive than a ton of oil. Easy establishment of a great power generation industry. It is possible to get about one kilowatt of power from one square meter of the surface illuminated by the sun. The high efficiency and competitive cost of asteroid minerals extracted in space. It is determined by a high concentration of useful minerals and such minerals up to the native state. That means a multiple reduction in specific costs, which are primarily caused by the energy consumption of the extraction, transportation, and enrichment of or raw materials. The environment purity, lack of gases, dust, microorganisms, and other contaminants allows producing clean materials that means one of the most important signs of the structure uniformity. The quality of materials and products should be also considered. The possibility of quick cooling to ultra-low temperatures that, in combination with other features of space environment, provides new opportunities for technologists in various industries to manage the phase composition of the materials being produced, degree of their uniformity, as well as nature and density of crystal lattice defects. It is also easy to reach high temperatures in space, for example, by concentrating the solar radiation. In accordance with the program of the GPV operation, the industrial production facilities, scientific laboratories, factories, and workshops connected to power generation, mechanical engineering, metallurgy, and chemistry will be gradually moved and reconstructed from Earth to near-Earth orbit. The concept was officially introduced in 1973 by the founder and has been discussed and researched since. The funding required for this project is around $2.15 trillion. Although seems like a lot, but the two years budget for U.S. military is more than this, and trillions of dollars have already been spent in space mission without yielding significant results. So in order to fund the project, the founders started working on a transport solution for the Earth that would solve all the problems with current transport system, named Unitsky String Transport. The transport project is expected to launch a commercial project in Sharjah and Abu Dhabi soon. He chose crowdfunding as means of funding for the transport project. If you want to know more about the history of Spaceway or about the founder of this technology, leave a like down below and let me know when do you think will this technology become a reality.